Hey family, how are you today? I am making dinner. We are having meatloaf. We are having roasted potatoes and corn off the cob. I have corn on the cob that I am gonna cut off the cob and heat it that way. So I got some onions started here. I've got a pound of ground beef in my bowl here. I just sliced my onions. I sliced it in half, sliced the half in half. And I just make little slices like this with my knife. All right, knife skills. I just put all these onions in a pile and I literally rock the knife up and down, up and down. It makes it very simple. It makes it very easy. You can do a lot in a real quick time. Also, you just keep going like this, back and forth, back and forth, until you get it the exact size that you would like your diced onions. All right, we're about there. So next, I'm going to take maybe half of these onions, maybe a little more, and put that in the meat mixture here. All righty. In this little cup here, I have one large egg and a quarter cup of milk. That's gonna be my binder and help, the milk will help to keep your meatloaf moist. Your egg and your milk mixture. We're gonna add some of my seasoning blend. My seasoning blend consists of three tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of pepper, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. You can use as much cayenne as you'd like, just depends on how spicy you want. This spice blend you could use on chicken, fish, beef, doesn't matter. It's kind of what you got here. So I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm just gonna sprinkle over a big spoonful of my seasoning mix. Save that for whatever you desire to season. Um, works on everything. All right, okay. So now my roasted potatoes. I got little round yellow potatoes. You can use the big ones, red ones, whatever you prefer, it doesn't matter. You could use the fingerlings, the purple, the whatever color, it doesn't matter. I cut each potato in half then I take each half, cut it in half. So basically I'm quartering all these little pieces of potato. Also, even if it's the big slices, I also quarter them and leave them long like this. All right, so we're about done here. And on the potatoes, seasoning here. I just got pepper and salt. That's all I want on there. So I'm just gonna, I'm a pepper kind of person. So I put a lot of pepper on there, salt. And then last, I'm just gonna use oil. It could be, this is canola, but you could use corn oil, um, whatever light oil you want. You could even use a light olive oil. You wanna be careful, you don't want a lot. Maybe a teaspoon, that's about it. I got my gloves on, so I'm gonna take my hands in here and just mix this all up. Make sure the potatoes are coated with the oil and all the seasonings. And there's that, all ready to go. All right, my meatloaf. So now that we have that all seasoned. All right, so we have our ground beef, our egg and milk, our onion, our seasoning. Now, Parmesan cheese. I just take maybe a small palmful and I just kind of put it in there, okay? Breadcrumbs. I like using the panko. They are a little bit bigger flake. Um, I just think it works better myself than just the real, or real finely ground. I usually put two palmfuls of breadcrumbs 
and then I kind of just twist. And I massage all that in there. You don't want to over mix your meatloaf. It will become what they call tight and it's kind of tough and not real tender. All right. If you can see, this looks really wet. It's going to be very, very moist. So what I do is I kind of divide it into thirds. This will feed three to four people, kind of depending on how much your family eats. We usually have some leftovers, but I try to make about three, one for each of us. So now I take my little patty and I form it into just a tiny little loaf. So I'm gonna make three of those. I've got a cookie sheet here that I have sprayed with uh, cooking spray, okay? Gonna give you this other meatloaf here. Just slightly put it together, form a little loaf. Got my third one here. All right. So there are my meatloaves. They may not all be even, but they're evenly good. All righty, so next, I've got my meatloaf on there. And so I'm gonna come over here and grab my potatoes. And we're just gonna dump these all over on the other side of this cookie sheet. Make sure that they're evenly layered. I like to put the skins down. I kind of like the tops roasted really well. So I try to get as much of the inside of the potato up as possible. You can see all the great seasoning that was over there. Lots of pepper, num. All right, so now to finish up, what I do with my meatloaf, ketchup, okay? Better shake it up. We're gonna put some ketchup on top. All right, come over here, grab a spoon. How's it going guys? Does it look nummy? I hope so. All right, we are going to spread this around. Just ketchup all over. I don't know how you all grew up eating your meatloaf. This is not how I grew up eating my meatloaf. Um, this is <laughs> something I saw and I started doing and we just really like this ketchup idea along with brown sugar. I mean, can you go wrong? I mean, so then I just sprinkle brown sugar over the top. Just like that. All right. So we're now gonna put this in a 400 degree oven. It's gonna cook anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. You wanna make sure your potatoes are completely done. The meatloaf is gonna get all crispy and nummy on the outside. The potatoes will be all nice and kind of brown and roasted. And we'll get you a picture as soon as it comes out. Thanks guys. Corn off the cob. So, got some beautiful corn on the cob uh, that we got. I don't always cook it the same way. There's so many different ways I cook it. But sometimes it's not always easy for some of us to eat corn off the, on the cob. So, you can't find corn, the taste of corn on the cob in a can. I'm sorry. So, what I do is when they're in the husk, I cut the end off both ends. And then I peel off and husk them, get all the hair off, rinse them off, dry them. Now, in the bottom of this bowl, I have a little glass bowl turned upside down. You can see all the corn around there. So I'm gonna take the big flat end, stick it on that. We're gonna start at the top and we're just gonna cut down and cut this corn off the cob. one more ear here and then you just 
easily heat it up in the microwave. out this little bowl here I'm gonna make a little bit of a mess doing so but that's all right all right so now what I'm gonna do kind of mix this around a little bit again I'm going back to my salt and my pepper and we're gonna salt and pepper this really well. Got some softened butter right here. So we're just gonna take some, put some pats of butter in there. Last thing, we're gonna take some good old cling wrap here. We are going to seal this bowl. I'm going to take my knife here, cut a little holes in there, a little butter on there, it ain't going to hurt, but put some holes in there. And we will microwave this for three to four minutes um, after our meatloaf comes out and we kind of let it sit and rust. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the microwave. So I want you to tune in when this is all done and tell me what you think. Make sure to comment, share, subscribe. I love you guys. This is probably the craziest thing I've ever done. But hey, we're gonna do this. So we're gonna have fun. Hey, welcome back. I've got my corn in the oven. I'm about ready to take this meatloaf and potatoes out and take a peek out of it. So, Alrighty, that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna leave it in for probably five, maybe 10 more minutes. I want those potatoes a little more brown. And we'll check back 